going to start Photoshop and we're going to try to keep it simple. Some of the tools that I use for basic photo editing and that's going to move us towards a surreal um, landscape photo. And then we will be from here on out using a combination of Photoshop and Illustrator for all of our design projects, such as our album cover and our product design and branding units. So let's rock and roll. Um, the first one we're going to do is the healing brush lesson. So that'll be linked here on Schoology. And when you download it, you're going to open it through Photoshop and it looks like this. Um, so Photoshop will launch and this is what you'll see. One of the first things I'm trying to teach you is to set up your menus or palettes. You want to definitely make sure you've got your layers palette open. And if you're doing this on your laptop at home, you might have some other things open. Any of these menus that you don't need, like if you have the learning menu open, um, you can just hit these three lines here and close the tab group and then you'll have more room for like your layers. The first thing I want you to do anytime you start an assignment um, for this next unit on learning about Photoshop is to duplicate your original layer. There's seven ways to do it. I choose to drag and drop it on the new piece of paper. You can also right click and say duplicate the layer. You can also go up to layer and duplicate layer. Anyway, the original one is always going to get locked and I usually hide it because some of the changes we make won't be viewable unless you hide the original layer. So from here on out, everything we're gonna be doing is working on layer one. Some of these things will be nice to use the mouse for and some of them will be nice to use the stylus for. It's kind of your call, whatever you wanna do. I'm mainly gonna be using the uh, mouse just because it's kind of what I'm used to and I don't have the stylus on me because I'm on my desktop in the other room. So oftentimes something you'll want to do in a photo is remove um, pixels that are like in your way. Somebody's, there's a stranger in the background you don't want there or a zit on your chin. So for this, we're going to try the healing brush. And if you look over here on your menu, the first, do, 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 first one, two, three, these four are all about selection. So in Photoshop, you have to marching ants around anything you want to change. It's not just going to change it for you. You've got to tell it what you want. And this tool here, it might be hidden behind there, but we're looking for the spot healing brush. So right click and you'll find that spot healing brush. And what the spot healing brush does is it's smart. I'm zooming in on the area. I want this power line gone. So I want the spot healing brush to be about the size of what I'm trying to get rid of. And as I brush the spot healing along that line, Photoshop knows, okay, these pixels are the ones she doesn't want, so I'm going to replace it with the ones around it. It's better than erasing, it's better than smudging, and it's better than the clone stamp because Photoshop is filling it in with the pixels surrounding where the area is that I want it gone. You'll notice I'm not brushing across like these areas all at once, so I usually try to stick to the area. If it's being stubborn, the clone stamp tool is over here. And it's a different tool. How it works is it takes a tiny screenshot. So I'm going to hover over pixels I do want. I hold Alt down and then I click once with my mouse and it just took a tiny screenshot of those pixels and then I can kind of stamp over the other ones. Another tool I'll use in conjunction with this is the blur tool. It's right here and it smooshes pixels together. So you can see it's really getting rid of all of that. And so now I have something pretty perfect going on up there. So um, the only place I've got left is this sign. And I actually want you to totally remove these letters because you're going to type something of your own on there. So I'm going to go back to the spot healing brush. I'm going to get rid of the power lines first. And then I'm going to see what happens when I use this tool on the lettering. Zoop. It's kind of acting weird. It's like repeating things. So if you can get it to work cool, otherwise switch over to the clone stamp. I'm going to show you how to use this again. I do want it to look like this. So I'm hovering over an area I do want. I hold alt down. 
see how that changes my cursor so it's like a little target I click once with my mouse and I just took a tiny screenshot of those pixels notice I'm doing a little bit at a time eventually it'll wear out like it's it's done it's tired so I have to do it again alt click and I just took a new screenshot of a new area so what I'm looking for control Z to back up if you make a mistake what I'm looking for is kind of a blank area for us to make a new sign. So we're kind of to that point, and that's what I want to do. And then I want you to type a new sign, something random, something that might make me laugh. I don't know, or just whatever pops into your mind. I'm going to choose the type tool. It works similar to Illustrator, um, and you're just going to drop once click and release to start a text path and right now this is the current font I have so I'm gonna type except for this and you'll see up here all rights reserved I I think you should use impact that's the font they've used down here it'll make it look like it goes Impact regular, all caps. Oops, so now I gotta type it again. And remember in Photoshop, you have to highlight the text first and then change the color. I want that same red that they're using down here. So I did, I clicked once here and then I kind of hovered over here and now I have the same red. How do you resize things in Photoshop? Control T. Grab a corner. Tilt it just a tiny bit. Check mark. And when I zoom out, it's kind of looking like it goes. I can use that blur tool on it, but first I have to rasterize it. So this is what the type tool looks like here. If you right click and rasterize it, see how it's not type anymore, it's just pixels. Then you can kind of use the blur tool to make it look like the rest of the stuff so it's not so sharp. I can also kind of blur some of this around. But anyway, this is what I'm looking for. Um, you showing me that you know how to use the spot healing brush, the clone stamp, and the blur tool. If you're feeling feisty, take one of these people out and put somebody else there also will make me laugh and I'll give you a couple extra points that's how you do the power line tutorial